Pues Shinizo. Let A ku A be an n by m by n matrix and B be an n by n matrix over real numbers with m less than n. Then options A B is always singular. A B is always uh, sorry first one A B is always non singular. A second one A B is always singular. B A is always non singular. B A is always singular. And this is also an easy question. So first we give one A is an uh, m by n matrix and B is an n by m matrix. And also also give one also what is given n is m is less than n this is very really important okay now what 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 about uh, a b a is m by n matrix b is n by n matrix then a b is m by m matrix okay and what about b a a B is n by m matrix and A is m by n matrix then B A is n by m n by n matrix okay now since uh, uh, so we have A and B are matrix n m by n matrix and uh, B is n by n matrix therefore we know that triangle of A is always less than or equal to M less than M. So M and the triangle of B is always less than or equal to M. Also, we know that if triangle of A and triangle of B are less than or equal to M, then we know that triangle of AB is less than or equal to M and triangle of BA is also less than or equal to m because if a less than m triangle of a less than m triangle of a b less than m then their product must be uh, rank of their product must be less than or equal to that quantity now now here a b is m by n matrix then a b may have rank m so we cannot conclude anything this m by m matrix may be invertible or non singular. What about here? Rank of B A is rank of B A is less than or equal to M, which is strictly less than N. What is the order of uh, B A N N by N? So rank of B A is less than so rank of B A is less than N, which implies B A is singular so what we can conclude the matrix b a is string singular so option 4 is correct 4 is correct okay